Hello and welcome back to the realm of insanity. I am the Queen K Powers D, and we're back to go into the Starfield, flying our little pink frontier that we will eventually upgrade. Thank you very much to Bethesda UK for gifting me the code, the collector's edition, and a bunch of loot. I really appreciate it. Hashtag add, hashtag gifted. Previously in Starfield, what did we do? We um went and saved Barrett. And we were just about to take off because we'd just done a massive inventory sort out. And I finally got pocketed and the second part of the weightless, uh, the weightlifting perk. So we should be a little bit better. And also I found a piece of legendary equipment that makes all weapons 50% weighing less. That was bad England. My England was all mucked up. That's okay. Why... Oh, it's in a different planet. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why are we going back to this planet? But we're not. Oi, saucy T-saurians. Dorians, not the dinosaurs, but the knowledge keepers. The librarians. The T-saurians. All the T-saurians. A very ancient uh, dinosaur in the realm of insanity, let me tell you. I'm going to drink my tea before it goes cold, too. I nearly jump successful. Everywhere. Just broken champion. Nearly everywhere. Nearly everywhere. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. That's all we need. I was going to say, neon. I don't think I have any contraband. Um, neon. Is that where my quest is? I think so. How is the space badger? He's got the norovirus thing going around. He's, 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 he's coming out of both ends. He's not having a good time. He can't even keep water down, bless him. Sorry to anyone that has fear of sickness. Uh, he must have caught it at EGX or at his work. He's really not having a good time, bless him. Another bless him. I'm just hoping that I don't get it, because I really don't want that. There's no way I'd be able to stream with that. Oh, yeah, we get to go to the neon place. I've not been here yet, but I feel like this is going to be my vibe. And I'm going to be very tempted to skank off good old Sam for the neon people. Because look at this. I'm going to drink my tea while I'm doing this. Hello. I'm here. Whoops. Sorry. A little bit close there. A little bit close, Walter. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. People are getting high off fish? Something to do with Kazambas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Right. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekram offices. No I love the cowboy hat. Thanks! That was a whole heist. I had to go and steal that. Even for something like this. I had to go and steal that, I did. Come on, Sam, let's go. Where's Sam? 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 I... Have, have Sam been replaced? Oh, no. Can I not have Sam with me as well? Sam? Sam? Yes, my captain. Sam! Sam? Sam! Why aren't you coming with me? Oh, for a little adventure. Oh, you're just not following me. Okay. Yep, I was done too. Well, I guess maybe he just didn't. I'm so confused. I guess. Um. Okay. Well. Maybe he just is feeling a little bit lazy today. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he knows that this is part of this. I don't know. He's. I know. Isn't Sam? Oh, here he comes. He's my boy. He's my Sam. I don't know about you. My hunky oh, space cowboy. I need to get him a better outfit, though. I need to put him in some chaps. 
Oh, he's a bit saucy, isn't he? He's my, I'm rizzing up that space cowboy. He's gonna let me wear his hat, if you, if you know what I mean. Right, let's get through here. Ooh. This is very unnecessarily long, I think. Hello? Security! Security alert! Security alert! Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Not the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Can I not talk to any of these? Oh dear. He's busy. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Let me just check, because why does that sound really quiet? Voice is 100%. I'll turn the music a little bit more. Only a little smidge. Can we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayer's job. Oh, now, he's got caught. Move it. Let's go. Clover over at Kelp Corp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying Speak to, to Neshar in jail. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. Bye, Walter! <laughs> There's not any room in here for you anymore. <laughs> I know you're here for the story and stuff, but there's no space. Apply for a job? Not right now, thanks. Wow, look at this place. This is so cool. Ooh, I bet there's some sick clothes around here. I spent too much time trying to stop bad guys here. The whole place just gives me a headache. Outfitters! Outfitters! I'm gonna go get some sick clothes! You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Oh wait, is this outfits? Or am I just being I think I think maybe I'm being stupid. I I need a break. Welcome to Sick Hot's Outfitters. Watching lightning uh, You know, that well, actually take sounds every like artifact a good idea. you have in star. An artifact? Art well, like I said, I've spent years per Okay, that's great. Good for you. So your Lovely. Uh That's quite an impressive shop you have here. Thank you for no. Okay, I have you. a lot okay, of overhead. Okay, lovely. Can you just sell this me some stuff, please? I, I just want to buy some stuff. Uh, yeah. You think that, right? Unfortunately. Anyway, I don't want yeah, to. Can you? So why don't you All help? Right, that's great. You, let me see. Let me. Um, actually, maybe your store would be more successful outside of New York. My dear mother would have said the same thing. Wait, is he going to come work for me? Quite expensive, and I'm barely making ends meet. But it has not always been easy. You wait, won't wait, find wait. another store like mine on Neon. Oh. Okay, well, fine. If you don't. Well, Sam likes that I was being nice to him. He's a bit yappy, but you know. Uh, right. Let's see what apparel. Blue Neo City formal wear. Blue Neo. Ooh, Neo City pawn show. Brown a uh, corpo boardroom suit, corpo salary suit, cyberwear streetwear, fish worker splashwear. Oh, angry dad would love that. Neo City corp wear, neon business wear, neon dancer outfit, neon nightlife jumpsuit. Ooh. Neon nightlife skirt, Nova Galactic cap, operator leatherwear, space undersew, United Colonies cap. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. The golden jumpsuit's pretty cool. Huh. 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 What you got in here? Anything I need? I need in here. Amino acids, apparently. I'll, I'll take them. They don't weigh a lot, so I guess I'll take them. 
Uh, do I have anything to sell? I'm pretty sure I sold everything that I needed to sell, but... Uh, oh, I was going to give that to the Adoring Fam, wasn't I? Forgot about that. I forgot about that. I could sell that, actually. It's not... 15%. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. Sell it. Just a neon dancer watching over me. She's a she's a lady. <laughs> you what? Twenty percent of chance of persuasion chance. Dang any dang. I don't think I have anything else that I want to sell. No, definitely not these. These are cool. Right, bud. Uh, good luck in your. Oh my god, hello! Boop, boop, boop. Uh, good luck in your mission of being the best shop ever. I think it's going really well for you. I think I bought a cowboy hat. That shop could have been somewhere else, though. Oh, I. I just stole the one on my head. It's fine. The hotel enhance. Hey there, Road clund. What's road clund? Each of our unique starship models is expertly crafted by the. Oh, starships! I don't have enough money to buy one of those. You for a cup of coffee right about now. Do they sell tea? Probably not. I'm gonna go have a look though. Do you sell tea? Or is it just C word? Do you sell tea? Hello, and welcome to- Hi there. <laughs> welcome to- you... Certainly. Please take your time. Do you have any tea? Tea? Ugh. Ugh. What is your obsession with C word, Starfield bro? Come on. What the flip is this? I'm gonna set them on fire. Neon security headquarters. Galbang! Welcome to Galbang, the settled system's premier financial institution. Have you tried one of our advanced teller machines? No. Galbang ATIs are spread throughout the system. That was a little comfort to the irate would be colors. Benjamin Bayou is so not compensating for anything. Needle maniac. Astral Loud. You didn't hear this from me, but those ecliptic mercenaries, the factions use them sometimes. Astral Lounge. Collective and you see I mean, confession time, I used to blow off some steam there. You wanna go party? Bad idea. Should we go party, Sam? It's good to be out and about. Next time. Go, you wanna go party, Sam? Let's go party. Wait, is this gonna take us up there or is that gonna... I wanna go to the Astral Lounge. I don't wanna... Is it, where's this taking us? Nah, I wanna go in the astral lounge. Come on, Sam, let's go party. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? Funny stuff. I didn't know you was in this game, Sonny. Where is it? Is it through here? Astral lounge. Hey. Raid tower. Sounds like there's some banging tunes coming. Whoa, okay. Now we're talking. Mission board, self-service, bounty clearance, mission board? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now that, that's what we're talking about. Look at these people, boogie. Sam, you want to party? Yeah, the way you handle it. Take it easy. Sam, let's party. This it's, oh, my it's time to party. It's time to party. VIP? How do I get in the VIP, bro? Oh, yeah. I'm flying right now. Is everyone here high on fish? Music is amazing. Oh. <sighs> you look interesting. Are you just a random citizen? Hey. Yeah. You want to dance? Not really. I want to dance with Sam. Can I not dance with Sam? Take it easy. Can I dance up here? Yeah. Can I join you? 
Get some Aurora and let loose! Come on, dance! Go crazy! Oh, there's more dancers up here! Hello? Can I have a bevy, please? I want a bevy. Where's my boy Sam? Is he coming over? Sam? Yeah, sit next to me, buddy. Come over here. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, uh -oh. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. Sweet. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Wait, so is Aurora legal or not? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Mm, I prefer alcohol, but I'm also intrigued because it's a game. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experience. I want to see what the effect will be in games. It's what life's all not about. in real life. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Uh... Can I look at Got the menu, plenty of year to please? choose from. Okay. Attitude, Aurora. Hmm. And a powerful and addictive hallucinogen. Depri derived from Voli Alpha's local Chasmbas population, legal only in the city of Neon. Oh! So good. Oh. Yeah. Astral Lounge Special Sangria. Mmm. Baguette. Bayou Private Reserve. A, a rare cognac, possibly of old earth origin, kept in a crystal vessel. Uh, Chandra Cabern Caber Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Sauvignon Blanc. I don't really understand. Badgers would understand. There's the Sauvignon Blanc. Savvy, savvy sausage Blanc. <laughs> Godo's greater. Cruel orb. Cruel bisque. Mmm. Gazpacho. A cold soup made from various soups and raw vegetables. Oh my god, this is. Oh! This is making me so hungry. A grilled mill for the Astral Lounge's most discerning customers. Oh. Melon caviar? Small balls of melon stuffed with local caviar. Mmm. Mmm. Sparkling wine. Sam's gonna hate me if I do Aurora, right? He's gonna hate me if I do it, but I really want to know what happens. I want to know if, like, I... Like, do I just start dancing? Slows time for 40%. 40%? Slows time? Ow, I'll buy one. You've picked up a contraband item. These are illegal to have on your ship. Security ships orbiting manager settlements will scan your ship for contraband and will not let you land until the scan is complete. You have a chance of smuggling contraband past them. If you fail, you could be arrested and have your contraband confiscated. Don't do drugs, kids! Um, Those sliders look so good. I know Barrett doesn't hate me, but I don't remember what, if anything, Sam did. We'll do it for science. I'll save before I do it. It's fine. Uh, and I'll also grab... Uh... 
<laughs> that is the most ungodly thing. Look at it. Jungle, hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello, hi. I'm gonna, let me, let me, let me grab some of that old earth. I don't really drink in real life, so let, let's try some of this private reserve. Let's just try one. I'll give one to, I'll buy, I'll buy one for Sam. I'll buy one for Sam. Sam's probably gonna be pretty mad at me for this, but. Hope to see you again. Sam, don't judge me, okay? I'm gonna save in case you judge me. Sam? Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the sea. If you're looking for something in particular, oh, let me give you, there. let me give you a bevy. Yeah, let me give this to you. I bought this just for you, just for you. Where is it? Where's he gone? Mmm, ramen. When did I get ramen? Where's he gone? Am I being stupid? It was in aid, right? What was it? Oh, there we go. Bayou Private Reserve. There you go, Sam. Let's drink it up. Bah! Let me get up. Alright, Sam. Are you ready? We're gonna get lit! <laughs> I'm gonna do some baguettes. Yeah, let me go do some baguettes. Uh... Whoa! Sam, bro! <laughs> Drive. Makes me feel alive. <laughs> what? Goodbye. What the hell? That was so funny. I just want to hear Sam talk in that voice yes, all the down. time. Look, Sam. I thought you were going to get litty spaghetti okay. with me, but I guess not. Oh, there's just like private... Pri there's just stuff hanging around everywhere. Well... Hey there. Last drink was stronger than I thought. Hello. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello. Hi. Yeah, probably time for a Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Is someone hanging out in here? Excuse me. Well, if you're gonna drink or do drugs, it's good. Mm, melon caviar in the toilet. Mmm. Well, Sam didn't dislike or like that I done that. So, can I go in the VIP? Am I going to get in trouble? Can I go in the VIP? I think I might get arrested. This will be fine. Hello? Can I get... Staff only? Am I a booth? Hello? Whoa. Sliders. Hello, Mr. I Security. heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get VIP his booth before the place shuts down. So I can just run around the via. Talk to Doc. Wait, I can just run around. Wait, what? Oh, Sam, we're in the VIP booth together. Me and you. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you wanna do something in the VIP booth, Sam? You wanna, you wanna hang out in the VIP? Oh, look at that steak. I can just run around. Where is the security in this place? Huh? Where's the security in this place? And why is there no one in the v VIP P booths? Oh, I've done, I've done goofed. I've done goofed. I'm do, I've done goofed. Oh, I've done goofed. Okay. Hey, Julie. This room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Well, that was totally you, uh, worth it. You were doing the thing. Oh, I got no idea how hackers speak. <laughs> Sam, you're so cute. Sam. Is this a, Wait, is that glass? Oh no, there's just... Sorry, stop me, okay. 
Hello? Oh, hi. Who are you? Benjamin... Ba oh, my God. It's the dude. <sighs> yes. What is it? So, you're in charge of Neo. Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neo. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Dang. Since you're a Bayou, does that mean you own this entire city? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Wow. Yeah, that was riveting. Heckin' rude. Heckin' rude. Heckin' rude. What a what a fanny. What an absolute fanny, let me tell you. I don't much like that man. He was pretty heckin' rude. Anyone in this VIP booth? Oh, this is locked. That makes me want to go in there. I'm gonna say. It's only novice. It's fine. It's only novice. It's fine. Oh, frick. Oh, no, I didn't done goof. I didn't done goof. We're good. We're good. Hello? bottle. Oh, one's cranky. Right, why was this locked? Is there any reason? Any particular reason? Doesn't seem like much in here. Well, I got to practice my picking, so it's fine, I guess. Well, that was fun. Let's get back to the matter at hand, I guess. I would steal a bunch of stuff, but feel like where I'm going, that's not the best idea, so I'm not gonna. Uh, oh no, so good! Oh, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. I don't own Neon, I'm just a major majority stockholder and CEO of the company that owns Neon. Yeah, so basically he's been a flat. You look a bit of fish to be standing in. That is quite the hat. Quite the hat. Right, where am I going? This is... I know, well, this is, uh, good fun, good fun, good times, good time. Locked up stuff, melon. I don't own neon, it's just my possession. Wee! Grab Ow, my bitch. leg. Don't let anyone tell you different. Shut up, Sam. Come on, you coming in. Uh, Straud Elklund Corporate HQ. Well, that was a fun little distraction, getting distracted, going for a little party. I really wanted Mr. to go Stroud, clubbing with Sam, but... I didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Uh, no, Mr. Stroud. You are so lucky. Yep. The music got Walter. really suspicious. Issa, shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about. Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled. Oh shit! You do ships. Uh, I have. A, I might have a quest for you, buddy. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am arguing with my partner. I like your eyeshadow. And you're just standing right here. 
Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding? You're Walter's wife. Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune, and somewhere down there I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Aww. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. We're here on Constellation business. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need. To... Aw, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for That's a while. That's true love right there. Aren't coming up banter. I... True it's banter. It's a discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Oh. oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Sam, now is not the time, bro. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? <laughs> Also, send my love with freelance operatives. Oh, don't mind the two of us. <laughs> Challenging each other intellectually is a... No, is that is true love. Look, the band. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astro Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. I was just there. It's Yeah, there was no Mutual security. I just walked right in there. No leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Investigate the cellar, case the Astral Lounge. Got it. I hate being selfish. But I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. Yeah, sure, go through the funds. The broker mm -hmm. who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you, you find You have more. fun, youngins. <laughs> and it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining. Please give me some funds, yes. Meet me yes. back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Give me some more. Wow, they're busy. They gonna be cute together. Yes. I missed you. I missed you too. I miss Badger. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again needing you isn't the same as wanting you and I'd much rather want my partner than need them less complicated now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time but I never stop thinking of you wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me. <laughs> it's how I show my love Oh my god, they are so heckin' cute. The two of them have a bit of extra dialogue off this, so it's a good idea to stick around after a minute and it's done. Sorry, I wanted to catch you before you left. Oh no, I really wanted to listen. I wanted to be stalky to them, don't worry. Sam is played by Elias, too, who played... Oh, he also played the part of Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin in Gotham Knights. Oh, really? Yeah, traveling with you has been something else. 
But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? I like anywhere. As long as I'm with you. Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? If only they knew what they were missing. I mean, right? I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There's a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there's grandeur too. If they don't come, it leaves more of the galaxy for the two of us. Never thought of it that way. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. And not knowing what's next. Oh! I could listen to you talk like that for hours, Hanson. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Jacob has none of that co-family spirit in him, then. Not one drop. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Aquila City. But if you're gonna be name dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. Here's to discovery, Sam. I couldn't ask for better company. <laughs> Any day you make it through. Next time. We're making way, we're making way with Sammy boy. Come on, Sammy boy. My space cowboy. Uh, let's go to the lobby. Walter is played by Armin Zimmerman, the one and only Quark himself. Ah, uh, what's who, what, he, what? Who, when, what, where, how, when, what, who, what? Sam's never wrong about anything. <laughs> Me and my space cowboy, we're going around the space together. I'm going to get him some pretty chaps, though. I've got to get him a saucy outfit. His outfit's not so saucy enough. I need him a saucy outfit. Maybe I should just... If I could remove his outfit, I would... What? Who said that? I didn't say that. Uh, right, let's go back to our lovely barman, who I spent money with earlier. So hopefully he likes us. Take it easy. Sit down, look casual, bro. Look casual. Take a picture, it's pretty cool. I don't look suspicious at all. Whoa. Ooh, that's pretty sick. She's gonna look cooler here because she's like looking down. Did she start looking up just now? Oh, she's looking down with her hat, looking real cool. Ooh, yeah. Look, okay, that's a cool picture. She's looking cool here. get 
the bottle blurred out, but not her. I don't know if I can. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. blurry but it's not why is it only doing that it's like bogging out I don't know. oh flip what a sick photo So, what'll it be today? Uh, I have a meeting here later. Worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest... I was walking around there earlier and no the one city. stopped me! Say I needed security to be on my side if the fight broke out then i would say you'd be interested in the astral lounge vip package for a reasonable fee our security can be your security whoa that fee seems a little high we do strive for setting the most reasonable rate Ooh. Surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Uh -huh. Perhaps something could be arranged. You lower the fee? I'll be sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. Oh, yeah, we sorry. didn't like that, okay. The promises make for poor currency. to Shroud. Stroud is coming personally. Surely that's enough to have security on hand. I'm sorry, but our policies demand yeah, even high-profile customers pay our fees. Man. I'm afraid we can't budge on the price. The VIP package isn't for everyone. Wow! Mm. Oh, in that case, I'm not interested. Of course. Completely at your discretion. Persuade him again. I don't think of I can. Course. A few credits and the security of the Astral Lounge will be on hand if anything goes wrong. No, I can't. Okay. I mean, I can I can definitely sort it out myself, but I am worried about the old guy being with me. But also, he only gave me a thousand credits, and this is four thousand. But I do like the idea of being a VIP. Fan, I would love to be a VIP. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Enjoy the lounge. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for nothing, idiot. Hi! Having fun? The best time. Come on, Sam. Let's get out of here. I know when I'm not appreciated. I don't think you've done the quest line with Wes Johnson, but it's super fun. No spoilers to it, please, if anyone else has done it. I've only done main story and a little bit of the freestyles. Eh? Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. Why already pick lock this? We're already in here. Ooh, okay. Adding new user to remote door control override. Approved. Hand signal will now allow the user to lock the VIP lounge a total of one times. Sweet. Well, I'm glad I come up here and done that earlier. Pretty 
handy dandy if you ask me. Right, let's get back to it. It wasn't easy, but I managed to talk it down. I didn't want to start reloading again because people judge me when I like reload. I could have used some Alchemifrol to help, but it uh, ups your persuasion chance when you're drinking for some reason. Cool beats, right? We just out here clubbing together. Oh, investigate the cellar. Okay. Very stealthy. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Why? 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 Oh, we'll flip. Pretty. So, why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? This place is way out of my price range. You good? Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive taste. Hello, buddy. Sell only the finest boots for the discerning and customer. there's the Emporium. <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah, you certainly don't look like one of her usual clientele. Something, I'll help you out, okay? Damn. Ah! Almost wore my entitled snob outfit today, too. <laughs> I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please mm -hmm. forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. You should learn to defend yourself. My education on Jemison consisted entirely of academics and poetry, so it's unlikely I'd be successful in that regard. Self-defense classes are never a bad idea, but there's no good answers on Neon. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? I could handle this headlock thug for you. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. I'll try to reason with him first. Whatever it takes. Just don't go getting yourself killed on my behalf. Anyway. That's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of. I'd like to see what you've got to for sale, please. Exquisite goods for discerning tastes. Let's have a look what you got in here. A alien bug paperweight. An art deco sun sculpture. A deck of cards. A desktop sand garden. An ear grub display. An ear grub paperweight. Uh, a funky sphere. Insectoid paperweight, a lamp, a mariner's compass, microphoto terrarium nautical compass, Newton's cradle, an origami sculpture, a personal groomer, a sand garden tool, Solomon's calculations, Solomon? Solomon? I'm interested. Stylized desk fan, sundial, modern face sculpture. Well, I'm interested in the Solomon thing. It was good to have you in my shop. Let's Fair read this. Well. Solomon's? It was a lot of money as well. This is a complex set of mathematical calculations planned by Solomon Co. They are his original grav jump calculations from Earth to the Chan system, the future home of Aquila City. What? Sam, do you have anything to say about this? Sam? You need something? Look, do man. Happy to Shall I give these to you? Because this is... 
Do you want this? I feel like this- I feel like you should have this. I'm gonna give this to you. What? Now, but I'll spot you next yep. time, okay? Yep. Right, so I can't hand that over. Okay. I guess it's important because I can't trade do I it. You look like an idiot. Tell me, do I have a sign that says idiot? A really man these signs are really distracting me they're all so pretty I probably shouldn't be spending all my money hey there friend need something have a moment say hello to my wife Rosa Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning the business. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Sieghart, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Keeping his place safe sounds like smart business to me. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway... Sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Ooh, he, I mean, I feel like he's already got enough going on. I don't want to start threatening him. Don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Asking on behalf of Walter Stroud. I'm sure he can pay you. Rather be paid now. Ooh, you already got paid for connecting the cell to Walter. We're not paying twice. No, I didn't intel, think you'd have that. New transaction. Take it or leave it. Eh, done talking. Not getting more from me about any of this. Let's say you didn't, then. Yes, let's. I ain't paying more credits. Hey, you, snitch on your hobby, please. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. I hope nothing's wrong. You sound awfully tired. Oh my, you'll you have to excuse me. Has With all the room if my husband's in food, I should be taking better care of my It's difficult, it's difficult to get he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. <laughs> I knew I 
shouldn't have taken that fish earlier. <laughs> um, why would Dietrich Seachart be paying off Leon's security? For protection. We've been spared that zone. indignity so far. They apparently had a target certain missing I some type of some of the other things. I think all they do is sit around right outside here. I don't know. I think my husband has been supposed to be their only real competition. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. I have no idea. He's so Anytime obsessed the subject comes up, it's just not being paying off neon to kind of think he's so supposed to be on the side of my back, my affair. But perhaps you'd like to like browse our store a bit you know. before you do? Now all I see is worry on his face. Oh, he'll take it. I haven't talked to him. He went out for his own. I haven't been alone with him. 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 Oh, he hasn't talked to him. He's been alone with him. He's been alone with him. He's been alone if you've ever wondered what it's like inside my brain, this is what it's like inside my brain. <laughs> Absolute chaos. I'll never take a war again, I swear. I swear. Ooh. Ooh. Fish worker mask. Be cool. Flashware, see corpware. This neuro boost, Mark 1. Wow. 5% intimidation chance, neurocom, 5% diplomacy, diplomacy chance. Looks pretty cool actually. Intimidation or diplomacy? Hmm. I mean, there's... how many credits do I have? I have quite a few. Yeah, I'll buy one. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, sure. We all we have to competition at all. I'll never take Aurora again, I swear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'll never make the same mistake again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I learned my lesson. Right, I guess what we could do, maybe he will be interested in talking to us. If I help him with his issues about this straw, this guy that he's having problems with, did I get a mission for that? If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not doing this for free. I'm a businessman. You help me. Just be careful when you're dealing with. All right. All right. Let's Thanks go. Let's go. Let's go. Speak to Diedrich Seachart. What's his face? All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, this guy. Didn't I just talk to this guy and said I'd help him out? Oh, come on, buddy. Right. Let me. Let me take some alcohol. Let me drink it up. Let me get Litty Spaghetti over here, because I'm going to need to persuade. Well, come on in. Please, have a good look around. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly one. But if I don't pay debt... So, really... Oh no, did I use it at the wrong time? Can I use stuff? Right, so... Uh, Newell says if the alliance is unfulfilled, you can stand up to Neon Security. You, you can't be okay with letting Dexter profit off your gains. The merchants look up to you. They need your leadership. The merchants look up to you. They need your leadership. Really? I didn't know that. He wants to be but proud, so I, I'm gonna, I I'm gonna go to into that, respect. you know? Uh, until I started paying the protection. 
But the Aurora will roar for a war, roar, 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 roar for ages ago. Business if I don't pay Dexler's fees. I still think you should stop the payments. And why is that? Ooh. Rosa said she gets why you pay Dexler. But she also said you're a good man. And good men stand up to corruption. Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was a different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety. Yeah, you show him. You show him how it's done. I, will I like this to the guy. next meeting. Maybe I will even good idea. And snacks. Just don't bring Aurora. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. Exactly, buddy. Exactly. Right, let's go tell James the good news. We've we've helped people out in this place. Hell yeah. Hi, Harry. How are you today? Hope you're glad because you've been up. Sad. This is Starfield. Apply today. Thank you for the for the clip, Norvatine. I will make sure that one gets featured later. For all your hey, like hey James. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Dietrich has agreed to start payment. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him? Funny what that can achieve. Sometimes that's enough. Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Mm -hmm. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help. I didn't hear the story of how you met the because it was Alliance bugged, but hey. is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. Right, will you help me now? Please. Administrator Bay, you came by. Right? Appreciate the help. Hopefully next meeting, Dietrich will be there and everything will go smoothly. Wait, so now I can't even Oh. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Come on, are you gonna help me? Th oh, really? Don't give me that look, bro. You're really gonna pay me the exact amount of credits that you wanted to get the information out of you. Fine. 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 For the safety of the old guy, because I don't want his wife to watch him die, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give in. But mark my words. I've already just bought something very expensive from your shop. These credits say you did. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. That's it? I had to chase more zone heads out of here. Really? That's all you're gonna give me? That's it? They're just kids having fun, James. Sam, we're gonna Don't murder them yourself. later, I swear. We're just gonna murder the heck out of them later. It's not even funny. Disgusting! Can't believe you've done this! Oh, my credits, bro! My credits! Uh, I did kind of break even, but I did buy this fancy headpiece. Let's go, let's go, right? I don't think this is gonna be any good, so. That! That looks like it. That's gonna be that, right? And then. No. No. Undo. All right. Um. This is a novice one, bro. This is. Hey, there we go. We got it. And 
bingo. Let's see what we got. Personal correspondence. To Musgrove, I'm not joining, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before you activate your security clearance. To Musgrove, per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. To Musgrove. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about... Are they both the same? To Musgrove, you might be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has, that has taken an interest in. Now, I know you've gainfully employed you're gainfully employed but what's the harm in a little chat besides i have some information about your career that well i would want to know if i were you a friend okay Due to changing priorities within the organisation, your role within Slate and Aerospace has been made redundant. Please count, clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your Im imminent departure by the end of the day. We thank you for over a decade of service and trust that your long-standing relationship will keep this transaction free of the unpl- oh, okay. Good job, good job. Right, let's go tell Walter about our findings. I have to eat fish for dinner. I also need to pee. Um, quite badly. So I'm not going to make a tea, but I am going to quickly run to the Wii. Real quick. Right here. We're going to quit. Bed! Sure Frick off, Terra Brew! I'm sorry! I can't be dealing with it! I really can't be dealing with it! I'm back. Sorry. I'm sorry that I positioned you right next to Terra Brew. Terrible Brew! Because they don't sell tea and they're terrible. I'm real quite upset about this, to be honest. They don't! They don't! I went to see if they sold tea and they didn't have any! They didn't have any! That made me so sad. Sam, are you with me? Come on, buddy. Hi, Walter. Is everything ready? I found out the cellar is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? They're so heckin' cute! I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. They're so heckin' cute. I can't even deal. Here's a question, chat. Can you... Do you... Sorry, not can you. Do you play in first person, close up third person, or far away third person? I'm a far away third person person. And I really wish the game would stop every time I fast travel putting me in close up third person. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Why doesn't it just remember that I'm in far away third person? I play first person. This is the one game that I don't, that I can do that and I don't get sick. That's interesting. Sunny, have you been playing first person? Because you get uh, motion sickness, right? All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Use the code to identify the seller. Got it. Standard operating procedure for business on Neon. Cloak and dagger's par for the course. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. 
Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers. They just had a briefcase. Hell yeah! This is awesome! Hey! Wanna dance? No. Very busy right now, actually. Hey there. Briefcase. Oh no, that's a bag. Okay. Oh. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Trev. Oh really? Mm. I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. I have a meeting to get to. I think you do, too. This Aurora stuff, it's blowing my mind! I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. He seems cagey to me. Angry, even. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that ship in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? What if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. I've been playing third person, but I thought about trying first person. The jumps between close third and far third and bumping into things to do my head. I don't mind the bumping into things because I'm used to that with third person in games. But I do wish it would stop jumping between close third and far third. I don't know why it does that. I just want it to stay in far third. I don't know why it keeps skipping to close. It seems to be like when you go back on the ship Get and things. Get out of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the Astral Lounge. Pickin, do you know who I am? I'm a VIP. I paid you. Hey, you're working for me. I paid you off. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be Pecking Fanny? Because they have little outfits. I paid you off. You're in my pocket, mate. So you're Stroud. You look different in I want to sit down. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. No sense in making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. I am a VIP penis. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. 
I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! The security team and I have an understanding. They won't interfere. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. If Let's you'll go. excuse me, shall I we? need to get out of town. Enjoy that thing, whatever it is. Oh, I will, Musgrove. Thanks so much. What? I buy the vet. Wait, wait, wait. I pay off the security, and I can't even take the freebies. Shall we head home? Well. You're doing Constellation proud. Well, I'm glad I'm... Oh, Sam, you have a little sit down. Oh. You need something? I need you. All day, every day, Sam. Stop right there. Oh. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Like he's out his uh, makeup. Um. Ooh. 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 I feel like mm, I'm not gonna make an enemy yet. We're gonna try and talk. Don't do this. Don't die just to get rock back. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You're gonna make me shoot. Was that an instant fail? Oh. Give me a chance to talk to- Oh, Your boss didn't understand what he had. Constellation will share its secrets if you let us go. Not mm. We didn't steal anything. We purchased it. We're happy to talk this over with Neon Security. You're talking to me, not Neon Security. Now, well, they're my security the today, property. so... It's not too late to walk away from this. I'm not the one needs to be worried about that. That's it, we're done. This is security! I'm being harassed! <laughs> security! Yeah, you get him! Yeah, you get him! You shoot that guy! That's it! You do- Yeah, you get him! Oh no! Buddy, are you okay? Where did the guy go? Ah! Time to take security! Drop your weapon! Ah! Ah! Oh, made that look easy. Okay. Right. What the hell do you want? Sending armed men to the Astral Lounge. Slate, grab Are everything you saw. Serious about getting the artifact back. Clearly. Get off the oh, Benjamin, sorry about this. <laughs> Benjamin, I'm sorry about what you just saw, mate. My time is far more you're not gonna be. You're not gonna time. comment on that. Okay, don't worry then. You don't have to worry about this situation. Do you want this? Here, Merry Christmas, Benjamin. I've got a present for you. Here you go. Here you go, Benjamin. Benjamin, here you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Benjamin, here you go. Benjamin, would you like, would you like this? Would you like this? This is what I think about you, Benjamin. This is what I think about you. You should kiss people's butts a bit more. Here you go. You have a complaint. go I'm, I can't see myself doing this. I'm so Love sad. Money. Wait, Benjamin, here you go. Wait, I need to go. I need to go into first person. Here we go. 
Here, Benjamin, this is what I think about you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, dead people butt on your face. Mmm, <laughs> nice, Benjamin. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Benjamin just murdered someone in the VIP lounge. Oh my god, someone, someone get in here. This is very serious. Ah! Where is there a citizen? And why are they screaming? Hey, bud. Catherine, save it for someone who gives a damn. Well, Walter, that was sure was exciting, wasn't it? Very exciting. Where is this? Where is this citizen? Where? Where is the citizen that's supposedly screaming everywhere? Hello? Hello? Run! Where are you? Where is there apparently a citizen? I'm coming to help, but I can't find you. I don't- I think you're lying to me, game. Uh, Benjamin, you might need to get someone to clean all this up, yo. Not gonna lie, it's looking a bit messy up here, to be honest. Uh, pretty, pretty, not very, it's not very classy, I'm not gonna lie, it's not very classy at all. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Staff only? I'm staff. Hello, I work here. Hello, I work here. Hello. I'm a little stoned right now. So, let's take it slow, okay? Yeah, sorry. I don't do autographs. I could pay. Maybe credits are your thing. They aren't mine. Honestly, I'm kind of getting sick of everyone assuming I'm modding for the cash. I do it for the music. Follow? What's modding? Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. No need to get so upset. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. Like your hat. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. I could help you find your sleigh. Oh man. Wow. That would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. exactly do you have on your music slate? Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. If it keeps the music flowing, then it'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, Anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I like her. Okay. Then? Does using Aurora help you to write your music? Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. Do you have any idea who might have taken your sleigh? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned, or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. No, 
how do you get started in the music business? I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. Aww. At the time I was 15, I cut my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. I'm not sure why I was just allowed to casually walk up here when it's a staff only, but okay. Sure, why not? I think it'd be pretty funny if her if the slate was just like right next to her <laughs> and she was just so out so out of it on fish that she was just like yo man if you see my tablet and it's like next to her that'd be too easy wouldn't it wouldn't be much of a side quest kind of want to help her out though but i'm gonna do this next oh hello something's gone wrong hasn't it Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Great. There goes our way out. Who is this Nicholas Slayton, anyway? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... How did they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. We need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Uh, Alchemer Frol lost. Five minutes, okay. Five minutes and some of them different as well. I really don't want to spend more credits. Music's pretty bop popping, to be honest. Pretty popping. Pop and lock it, polka dot it. Ranger. Hey, I am a ranger. Let's go talk to Slayton. Oh yeah, I I'm looking forward to getting into the side quests, but I am very conscious about getting spoilers for side quests, uh, for the main quest. So. That's kind of why, and also, oh. Oh dear, they're mad. Okay. Uh, and also I'm, uh, I remember Bethesda on their stream saying that you should do main story and then do more, so. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I need to make an appointment. To see Nicholas Slayton? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Right, right. But you see, uh, I'm a very busy lady. Believe me, Slayton is expecting me. Oh, she's Jesus. gonna be tough. I have Walter Stroud with me. The CEO of Stroud. Nice oh, time. she's a the freaking grump. Walk through the door. They make appointments. I wouldn't be here if Slayton hadn't impounded my ship. That doesn't sound like something Slayton Aerospace would have the legal authority to do, does it? Well, I'm they did. More appointments today. Goodbye. Right. So now what? Do I just go steal my shit back? Access code required. Well. Oh. Oh. All right, 
right, let's watch the pattern here. He's over there, so I think we'll be okay. You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. What do you mean? You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Shh, they didn't see nothing. Shh. <laughs> Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. I've got to do it. No, I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death... <laughs> yes. Let's go. I love that. That's the best answer. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Very, very quiet. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Loot? Is this loot? No. Okay. Follow the corridor all the way to the end. Got it. What way? I'm guessing this way? Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Come on, the Sigmoid. Hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello. Right, she. The room below you is clear. Drop down. So, Ratty? What is that? Hi. Hello. Oh, it's a Xeno Grub! Hello, buddy! Hello! Hello, little Grub Grub! Hello! Oh my goodness, you are so cute! Hello, little Xeno Grub! Look at you! They're like little smush of wushums! Right. Did she say jump down? Because I might. There's a slight possibility that I was only so. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stuck in the hall. Okay. Wait. It's walking down the hall. See if there was anything in that room that I could loot real quick. Go now, straight across to the door. Oh my god, Sam, you scared the poo pants out of me. Is 
something in here? Oh, credits. Mm -hmm. Was that worth it? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's go, let's go. Right, okay. What did she say? Oh god. Oh god, 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 Sam! Right, there, there was no point. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back because there was no point in me doing that little cheeky cheeky. And I didn't hear what I, what she said. My bad. I'm going to reload because uh, there was no point going back for that stinky crit, crit disc. It was like 117 crit disc. I'm not going to bother for that. Go now, to the door. Going all the way to the end. Wait, you know that's not ours. Shh. Don't worry about it, Sam. Don't worry about it. Did she say go through this door or just keep going? I'll keep going. Got it. Is there anything up here of value? Let's have a quick look. See, look, see. Am I supposed to go? I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I might go to the next floor. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. This is nerve wracking. Let me just get that for you. Came in. That's not the one I came in, right? Almost there. Door on the right. What's going on in here? On the right. This is the right. But first, I'm gonna have a little look. See, look, see. Ooh. Eh, there's nothing. That's not worth taking. Door on the right. Door on the right. Oh, Sam, you... You idiot! The door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Yeah, after me. Hey. I made it out of there after a bit. I kind of failed to hear her instructions and kind of ended up killing up most of the security time and a few innocent employees. Oh no! Right. So 
Where to now? Ooh, there's definitely someone here. Oh frick! Oh frick! Okay, well. Come on. Oh. Oh. You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go, fam? You're throwing grenades? You're throwing grenades? Big mistake? I'll give you a big mistake in a minute. Where are these people supposedly hanging out? Where are they? Oh, I see one. I see one. <laughs> give me that digi pick. Give me that digi pick. There's a couple up here, maybe. Bro, where are you going? Go on, Sam. Yeah, that's right. Eat Sam's bullets. I think there's someone up here now. Or they're maybe on top of the roof, like way up on the roof, maybe. Casual enemies of really important people, you know. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Where did that guy go? you are. Silly bugger. Oh, I like the sound of the rain coming down. That's real cosy. It's like an aerospace. Oh yeah, I forgot I have superpowers. I need some more of these ammo, because this gun is like my favorite gun so far. Executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. Oh. 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 You're Sam, not... it's really not the time. It really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Call off your guard, Slayton. And release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I have superpowers.
You and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do maybe? admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. That's the price of doing business. If you're a thief, that is. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity uh, to spare a man's life. Mind, when you have the time. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Hey, buddy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Why did you steal the artifact? I want the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Where's the money, Musgrove? Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. He wants me to decide what to do with you. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I do kind of want to do some dodgy business later, but I also feel like Sam will be super mad if I let him go. But also I can make it up to Sam later, I think. He did give us the artifact. And he did play nice after we threatened him. He seems like he's genuinely had a bad time. So, Sam, I'm sorry. I'm gonna... He's a dirty thief, but so am I, so... Man, we're letting you go. Get out of Neon while you can. I... Thank you. You just won the lottery, pal. Don't waste it. Sorry, Sam. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Can we get a moment? Can we Let's talk? talk more back at the ship? Sam, it's really not the time right now, buddy. Okay, why not? Let's show. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. No matter what happens, Sam, I'm in your corner. That... that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, 
meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. That sounds truly terrible. And the pay? Well, it paid for my apartment, but that's about all I can say for it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. I could see the appeal. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh... More jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons. Maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Go on with your story, Sam. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. Were you that good at it? <laughs> at the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Sounds like your boss took advantage of you. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs dual cannons and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. I could absolutely see you doing that too. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. Anyway, and then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me, offered me a job. Why were you yeah, so well, lenient with that bad guy? Because I steal stuff too really? <laughs> in the game, not she in real life. I'd be a bit of a hypocrite me. if I was like, you're going to jail, you dirty thief. All my cards are on the table. You aren't that kid anymore. You're probably a better person for it. That was real stupid stuff you did. If you haven't done anything, you're ashamed of once or twice. You haven't really lived. And Lillian knew you were a smuggler. So that's it. So that's it. Nothing more. Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with, bad people, that would recognize me. But I swear, I did more questionable stuff for the Rangers, under orders, mind you, than I ever did as a smuggler. And Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes, she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. If you haven't done anything you're ashamed of once or twice, you haven't really lived. That's, uh... Well, that. But the thing that scares me is Cora. Mm -hmm. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me... 
I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone. I don't know if this is the right time to flirt, but I kind of want to because he seems to like it when I do. But also I think she thinks the world of you will be fine is probably what he more wants to hear right now. So... But also I feel like if he knows that I'm here with him, I don't know. Oh, you meant Nicholas? Well... Sam likes it when I'm diplomatic, as as I so I don't right. want to start a fight for no reason and Sam will hate me. Uh, I'll sod it, I'm going to flirt. Nothing wrong with an offer of friendship. Okay. Just know I'm here for you, Sam. With all my heart. Always. That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else and I really need to own that and have a tough talk with Lillian tell her about that follow through you mentioned Cora's at an important age right now every visit counts you can't flake on her well for now let's do something more cheery like getting a root canal that's lovely Sam I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot yeah I was done too yeah Great. Yeah, let's go get a root canal, I guess. Where is the dude, bro? This guy. This was a good meeting. Very productive. Who's that? Ooh. Wait, can I take this? It's not stealing. Okay. Thanks for the freebs. Thanks for the fruits. I'm guessing this is, yeah, that's stealing. Is this stealing? No. All right. All right. Yellow. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, that's stealing. Ooh, contraband cash? Contraband? Sir! I can't get in there. The lock is too difficult. Okay. Contraband, eh? You naughty boy! Don't mind me. I'm just invisible. Okay, maybe not. Wow, you've actually got a golden toilet. For reals. You have a golden toilet. You really are a silly boy. But maybe I've got a good contact now. Right, let's get out of here. English cowgirl seeing rats. My character ain't British. Like, good chatting with. Did I just hear a sheep? Did I hear a sheep? Did I hear a sheep. I'm sure I can hear a sheep. Hey, buddies! Good day to y'all! Good day to y'all. Yeah. Where the hell am I going? All right, all right, all right. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done. <sighs> Mr. Slayton is done with you. Mr. Slayton, Mr. Slayton. I don't care about Mr. Slayton. Mr. Slayton can slate on these butts. <laughs> Crap. Who 
Good job, everyone. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status. Saba who to what name? Whoop? Saba dooba dooba whoop beep? Saba dooba 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 beep? They have some interesting hats around here. Ah, rat. All right, all right, all right. Let's go hand. Let's go hand this in. There should be a sign. Dump your Aurora here. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like the other. Is there a little uh, trade machine here? Do I have a stolen one? Is it? I think there's a little trade machine like there is in Akita. But I think we're going to go to Akita anyway, so. Or is already Let's go. The man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? You and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. Issa, that's so hecking cute. Business. You guys really are cheers. Get a room, right? All in all, a great success. Sam is such a soppy. Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Nice, it's a nice. Oh, fiscal quarter, shattering break. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 10,000 credits? Now you. Mr. Walter! I love adoring fans so much. <laughs> Of course. So this book collection fund I heard about. <laughs> of course she's scamming. Don't you always <laughs> say don't listen to rumors? You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. Identify yourselves. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Starborn, huh? Humans are worthy. We're worthy. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. At least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Full of ace and maneuvers. Let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on. I have to personally, okay. I can't. Go, go, go! Run away! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't want to 
want to start attacking them and making enemies. I'm also not giving them the artifact. I'm going straight to the lodge. I'm not even going to go to the ship thing and uh, and uh, sell stuff. I'm going straight to the lodge. Oh, diggity dang. All hands on deck for this. The universe has got a little crazier. Deeper. Sometimes still can't believe I got my own room here. I keep thinking they'll one day say it was all an elaborate practical joke. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Uh, I need you to take a look at data from my ship sensors. Okay, I'll start transferring now. the data over now. Mm -hmm. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we, what the? Everyone? Come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Wolf. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. To bear its point, the artifacts clearly aren't human-made. No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, I shields, everything. Things. We're I in the dark. We need to learn we anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. Everyone should get ready for a fight then. I doubt they'll stop. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing the tally's work in my head. I must confess, the, the hum of a grab. No, that's it then. That's it then.
that you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let me put down the artifact, but first I'm going to put my plushies away safely in storage because it's very important that I look after my plushies, okay? Miss Lane! Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, Miss Lane. Oh, notes as well. Uh, let's put away all of these except the Solomon's calculations because those uh, I want to keep on me. Miscellaneous. Let's put away my fur and wheelby, plushy parish pooch, and toy spaceship. Hey, Walter, do you want to give me a ship? Mm? Yes. Level 13, baby. Like what do you want to chat about, Walter? Is it giving me a ship? Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Kind of come. Uh, a little bit. So, about that Sebastian Banks speech. Oh, right. Very well. Let my colleagues. I venture out into the darkness of space. Once That's lovely. Nonsense, lovely, wonderful. I say. I'm if definitely listening to you, Walter. That, dare I say? Definitely listening. I am fortunate. My soul has a home. It can all. And that. Uh, yep. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back. Uh, it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can give me a ship. The Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and. You gonna give me a ship? Whatever it is, I'm in. Sure, why not? Let's go. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Go get me to test oh. it. I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely. And frankly, I don't care. Give me. Uh, you can count on me, sure. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead. Sure, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll make the ship. I'm definitely listening to you, Walter. You're very, yeah, I'm definitely listening to you right now. Uh, hi, Vladimir. Never Main story, let's go. Retirement. Constellation's got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. I'm ready. Give me any data on those artifacts that you have. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Alright, mate. You've got something for me? Do I? Do I? Who? What? What is it? What is it? Dragons? What is it? Dragons? Right, let's go buy some materials. I need to go to uh, New Atlantis. I don't want to go in my ship just yet. I want to go buy some stuff so I'm over cucumbered and then I'm going to run in a circle for a little while. Because <laughs> I've got a new skill point and I want the weightlifter one. I need more loot. You know what? Actually, 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 I bet, I bet all I need to do is this. I'm a big brain, I am. I'm a big brain. Fun. Look at that. I've got loads done already. I'm gonna wait for it to uh 
do up again. So, chat, come here often. Lovely day we're having. to actually be at 75% weight which means that I wouldn't get so like I don't think I would use it up as much or maybe it'd be the same amount I don't know I'm going to run to the uh, over here, I think. Might quickly go sell one thing real quick. Because I, I only have to be at 75%. I don't have to be at maximum, so I probably can sell like that. How do you even manage to carry all that? That should be, that should be enough. Yeah, it's coming back way quicker now. Let's go run and see what supplies are available, since we're sprinting anyway. I'm pretty sure I only need to be 75%, right? up all available oxygen 20 times I'm surprised I've not done that already I'm not gonna lie there is a bit more in the back hope you're finding everything you need oh. let me say what you got for sale love oh amino acids i bought some of those earlier so i don't need i don't think i need that hyper catalyst i'll take those though because that's exotic okay okay girl actually oh, let me have a look at what else you got why not let's have a look see we've got a uh, blue color off work duds Ooh. Blue elbow grease gear. Sam could look quite nice. Ooh, brown elbow gear, 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 gear. Frontier attire. Ooh, minor hard hat. Settler hat. Space trucker. Hat. You know how to call in these cat. Utility jacket wear. What ammo does the gun that I'm using use? Let me have a look. Um... 6.5 millimeters. 6.5 millimeters. I'll buy all of it. That was expensive. Why did I do that? Okay, I basically got it back. All right. Appreciate the business. I appreciate you, love. Money is made up. True. Sometimes don't you wish that we were just, like, chilling out in a tent in the wilderness. Having a great time. Hey, no Eating potatoes from the ground that we grew ourselves. Where is she looking? She's, like, looking up in the sky. It is 75%, right? It's not... Unless it's changed. Yeah. Sprint 2,500 kil kilometers while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. Yeah, so it is. I was right. You can build one, just gotta find a pretty enough planet. Yeah. more like real life <laughs> oh i want that outfit that's cute pink and purple yeah that's at work not sure about the hat though the hat's um interesting 
will be scanned as you enter the city. Will I now? Is that a threat, buddy, old pal? You know what? I've not been over here yet. See the inside of the security office. Oh, Sam, you want to chat? Oh, it's Terra Brew. Ew. I ain't going over there. This is just another entrance into here, right? Yeah. Can't wait to get in there. Right, we're half we're nearly halfway there towards the weightlifting. Come on, Sam, do keep up. Um we I probably could do this while I'm playing. Instead of just running around in a circle like this, like some kind of hooligan, but... I might go check out the, uh, actually, let's go check out the, uh, residential district and go to the clothes shop real quick. We're making progress in the Starfield chat. We're making progress. I'm doing things. Look at me go. I wonder how my badger bum is doing, bless him. My little sick bug. You doing okay? Nice. Yeah, I'm alright. It's a nice day for a picnic. You're right. DJ. It. 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 Your first day tomorrow. It. Yet. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's not yet. What you got today, fam? Ooh, Sam would look nice in that nice jacket over there. Hello. Let me know if I'm... You won't find a larger array of up. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, fashionable suit. Ooh, I do kind of like the pink poncho. I'll take one of those. Ooh, in a nice suit. Warp wear, or urban wear, sari dress. I do like the sari dress. The vested suit. Sam would look pretty swanky in that, but hmm. I mean, it does match my hair. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. Not many accessories come up in these places, do they? Although I do really like this poncho. I feel like this is more spacey. But then I feel like Sam would look real nice in this as well. So what I think I might do is I might wear... Then again, like it's plus 10 health. That's not too, you know, it's not too crazy. Position uniform. Oops. I should probably uh, sell that and get it back again. Security guard uniform. I'm just a neon dancer watching over me. What's this look like from behind? Oh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Sam, it's time to get you. Like oh, oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Didn't realize we had a conversation. My bad. I was just. Sorry. Honest to God, real. I hardly believe it myself. And I was there. I genuinely considered mass hysteria. But the sensor logs confirm it. It's real. So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's going to be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible, but they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grav drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more... alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret Freestar Varun or UC tech. But I don't know. Ah, 
I have no idea what the star born of. Anybody that says they know for sure are lying. I'm going to throw in another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler. But they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. I'm Marco. Hope Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, me. and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence become the starborn. That certainly sounds possible. That could be it, Sam. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. Deal. One way or the it's other, we are not alone. And that's... <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. Okay, Sam, good chat. And now I'm going to give you this nice poncho to wear. Come on then. I think you're going to look real good in this. Well, let's get stuffy some. I'll carry anything you need. Well... Within reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh where is it? Okay. Let's see it on you, Sam. Oh yeah, now that's a look. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. Oh yeah. Come on, Sam. Come on, buddy. You're looking fabulous. He looks sick, mate. He looks fabulous. Is he really upset with me that I've put that on him? He's like, I ain't going anywhere with you. Oh, look at him. Also, I told you I'd get him in some chaps. Look. Look. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise my outfit had chaps on it this whole time. Actually, let's have a look around. I've not actually run around here and I might as well since I'm here anyway. Oh, that's uh, the medical place. Hi, how you doing? What's this? Oh, it's the lodge. Dang, is this the lodge? It is. Well, frick frack. I did not realize that the lodge was there. I've been thinking along the same lines as Sam, more or less. Hmm, we'll see. We'll figure it out together, chat. Sam Coat! <laughs> He's upgraded from Sam Co to Sam Coat. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is a nice little walk. I say a walk, we're sprinting, but I'm sprinting for a very good reason, you see. Oh, we're so close. So close. I'm gonna log into Starfield. See you Thursday. No worries, Nova Team. Thank you very much for coming along. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye! See ya! Or later, Tater! In a while, while later. Later, Taters. Oh, we had a nice look around here. Where's my frontier? Usually in the ground for some unknown reason. And then I'm going to sell some stuff. And have a look at what Mr. Stroud gave me. I keep saying Shroud. Because of, uh... Heckin', of course. I'm the Silver Shroud! Is it Silver Shroud? I'm the Shroud! Back in the day. That was it. The official quarter. Shattering. Breakthrough. Even the strongest armor. Short scope. Compensate. Tactical grip. Armor piercing rounds. Hair trigger. I think it's as good as my modified shattering coachman. 
or my concussive modified maelstrom which damage increases as health decreases incinerary and deals incinerary damage concussive small chance knocked out no 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 i'm gonna get rid of the fiscal quarter i'm gonna sell it i think he did also give it to me i feel kind of bad i'm an idiot i feel bad about stupid things To sell all these because that's common. I'm gonna keep those though. I'm gonna keep those though. And I'm gonna put back on my space. Oh no no no! I'm not gonna put the spacesuit back on yet because I, I need to. They'll cause plenty of havoc. Still gotta do this, you see. You see. Still gotta do this. She's a Caesar lady. Can you tell my favourite colour? Try it. Oh no. If you get the feeling, you know, I don't know if I give off a vibe. Do you think I give off a vibe? Do you, do you, do you, do you get the feeling of my favourite colour? Do you reckon you get it? Do you, do you understand? Uh, are you picking up what I'm laying down? Yo. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? I'm trying to get my weight lifting up. Don't judge me. Okay, you can judge me a little bit. She's a she's a lady. My butler's pretty good in this outfit. Oh, same. I like you with that outfit, sir. I sure do. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I reckon one more sprint in a circle and we'll be there, chat. This is some thrilling, thrilling entertainment. T-Storians, I bet you're loving this. It's so thrilling. I don't blame you if you skip to the end. It's fine. Twitch chat don't have that luxury, I'm afraid. Twitch chat don't have that luxury. They have to sit here through and suffer through me doing this. <laughs> They have to suffer. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Surely. Surely. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Give me. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Look at this. Ready, ready, ready. All right, inventory. Let me put my spacesuit back on. Oh, the Horner's Side of Assault spacesuit. Oh, technician. And minus 15% damage from robot enemies. Resource weight. Oh, I'm going to give that to Sam. I'm going to give that to Sam. Sam, I've got a new spacesuit for you, buddy. I'm up for a little adventure. Oh, actually, do you have anything interesting for me, Sam? I found some stuff. Oh, alkalines. Thanks. I actually need those. Share the wealth, I right? Think. Uh, let me give you this better spacesuit because that's going to be so handy for you because it's going to have you. Uh, also, it looks pretty sick on you. Uh, there we go. Later. That's going to look real sweet on you, Sam. That's going to look real sweet on you. Right, let's get ourselves in our shit. This thing has seen better. Let's go! What do you mean this thing has seen better days? Hey? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with my ship. What do you mean? Not anything you need to offload? Trade authority? Need some work done? Uh, I guess my ship does need some repairs. Sure we'll get it fixed up. Good as new. Fine. Nothing for us to do. Okay. Right. Well, we're repaired. My bad. Okay. Okay. She did look a bit beat up. I didn't realize. It's fine. Please disregard. I love Vasco so much. How could anyone want to part with Vasco? How could anyone want to part with our boy Vasco? He's such a goodish. He's a goody boy. He's a goody two shoe boy. Is that how you go faster than the speed of light? 
Why do you all hang out here not in your outfits and yet I'm in my outfit? I don't think the documentary about your life will be made into a... Oh, um, adoring fan, I've got something for you. Whenever I'm lost, I hope you don't mind. I've got something for you. Here you go, here you go. I've got you a present just for you. So here it is. Uh, it's a minigun, I think. It's a laser minigun, I think. it's, and, and it's got your name on it. And, uh, sorry, what, what does it need? You need 3k laser, right. 3k laser. Okay, laser. I'm gonna give you one, because that's all they need, and then they have an unlimited amount. Oh my god. Okay, you can use the bumpers to make it go quicker, just so you know. And uh, I'm also, just in case I decide to take you out one day, uh, you can also have a fragmentation grenade. A frag grenade. And I'm gonna let you use that because why not? Why wouldn't I let the lovely adoring fan use frag grenades and uh, <laughs> mini guns? I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. Being part of your crew, this ain't like getting around to it too. Books. You understand? That's an odd way to start a conversation. I guess it is. Do you have more books or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone and dad won't get me more. So, books? Uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. What sort of books are you into? I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Or horses. Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly, in a good way. Sure, I have some money for your book fund. Oh, Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Oh, Sam loved that. No, no, you don't. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now, the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. <laughs> Hello, me. <laughs> Whatever's handy. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! Sorry, Sam. We could always get one of each. Are we gonna have a pizza day night? Heck yeah! Well, date with Sam and Cora can come too. Cora stamp of approval. I uh. You do know it's seem to my have ship. Left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. Okay. I don't think Were I can give it to her. Lately? No, I can't give it to her, Sunny. Can't. Bye. I have still got it on me. No, 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 turn back around, Sam. Turn back around. Oh, yeah. Look at this tushy. All right, anyway, on that note, <laughs> we're going to save. I didn't, I, do you know, I haven't actually spoken to Cora that much. I've been too busy running around in the, in space that I just completely forgot to have a chat with her. Um, I think that's time for me to go, my darlings, because I have been live for nearly, for five hours. So we are going to head on out. I'm going to go have my dinner. So if this is, if you're watching on the VOD, it's the end of the line for you. If you're watching on Twitch live, you've got a little bit further to go. I do stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 12.30 p.m. BST. I usually am a little bit late because I'm filming a TikTok or editing a TikTok. And life is chaos at the moment. and has been for the past couple of years. So please, uh, please forgive me. But... Thank you very much for coming along today. I really appreciate you and I hope you've enjoyed being with me on my Starfield journey. We saw some big revelations today. Uh, lots of stuff done. We leveled up again, so that's pretty exciting. I'm going to go. So don't forget, you don't just deserve a life. You deserve a happy, healthy and fulfilled life. Until next time, T-Storians. Keep watching my videos. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get to YouTube Partner. We're halfway there finally. Yes. And thank you very much. Without you, we wouldn't be this close.